Hello guys, welcome back to Elon App. For today's video, we are going to show you how to display Shopify estimated delivery date on product page. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. So there's actually multiple ways on adding the estimated delivery date on your Shopify store. So one of those methods is via the apps section or the applications that we could install into our store. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on apps here. And from here, we want to search for estimated delivery and just press on enter. Now it's going to open up another tab here wherein we'll be able to see different applications to basically add estimated delivery into our shop. So in this case, there are going to be free applications here, but as you can see, there are only free plan available. So meaning there are certain limitations on those. So you might want to try this one, but I actually have a method wherein you don't have to actually uh, need to pay on anything. So this one is completely free, the method I'll be showing you. So in this case, we need to do some bit of coding and a bit of understanding on what we are adding here. So let's go ahead and go back in here. So first thing that we need to do here is we need to go ahead and visit our team. So in this case, we want to go to the online section here, click on teams, and we want to click on customize. Now from here, what we need to do next is we need to go to the product page. So at the top section of your screen, click on the home page here. And from here, you want to go ahead and click on the option here that says products. Now from here, just click on the default product. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to locate the template section. So currently, this is the product information. So when we click on it or hide this one, you won't be able to see it. But in this case, we want to add another section here. So in this case, we want to go ahead and click on add block section here and choose custom liquid. Now, in this case, we'll be pasting a code here. So the code that we'll be using here is actually from ecomranks.net. So shout out to them for creating this tutorial online. So I'll be showing you how to apply this one and a bit of understanding what this code is actually doing. So this line of code is actually a mix of HTML as well as JavaScript. So in this case, there's only two lines here that you should be uh, considerate or you should understand here. So first is the from date. So this is the first section. It's going to determine the date or the earliest date that they'll be able to receive the product. Now here we have the to date section here wherein it is going to be the date, the latest or the last day that would actually they would actually re, uh, receive the product itself. So we have five here. So it means after five days, they would probably receive their product. So this is the earliest date. Now the 10 here represents 10 days. So this is the actually the latest or the last date that they might want to expect the product might arrive in. Now in this case, let's go ahead and copy this whole section here. Click on copy, go back into our store. And from here, let's go ahead and paste it into our liquid code section here. Let's go ahead and click or right, I click on it, click on paste. And from here, it's going to basically start adding that. Like for example, it might not appear immediately. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on save at the top, right? Now from here, once our changes is saved, you should be able to see the date here. So the date here is actually based on our current date here. So currently it is November 23. So 23 plus 5 is 28 and 28 plus 10 is going to be December 4th. Now in this case, if you want to reposition this in a way wherein it's actually under the buy it now option. So let's go ahead and click hold and click on custom liquid section here. Click on uh, hold, hold and click on it and just drag it on just under this e section here that says buy button. Now from here, click on save at the top right again and you should just wait for it to appear. And as you can see, we now have the delivery date option or the estimated delivery date. And this one is actually pretty easy. Just follow the steps and you should be good. And that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to Yelan app. Thank you for watching.